What is up, car collectors? Diego here to take you on another sports cars detour. That's what I do, right? Um, this uh, sports cars detour is going to come in the form of a book, basically. Tops Baseball Cards put out a, a series of books with different teams and these a baseball car collectible type of book. And what they have, they were sponsored by Surf Detergent. They were made for, for like this one here was. Um, uh, copyrighted in 1988 so it was going back you'll have from 1952 to 1987 in this book for the ones that were made in 1989 though I they will have 1988 included uh, this one here uh, is for the Chicago White Sox you can see on the cover you have Carlton Fisk's 1983 card you have Nolly Fox's 19... Oh, uh, I'm not even going to try that one. <laughs> Dick Allen. We have Min Arrestus Minoso, uh, Mini Minoso, Harold Baines, and Billy Price on the cover of this one, which is pretty cool. We'll see some of these cards um, for the 1950s in the series. Uh, right now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 1950s, which is 1952 to 1959. We'll I'll open up the book and go over some of the stuff that's in here. A pretty neat book to have um, if you like baseball cards. It's a cool way to uh, get the set. And there's one of the cover pages. Talking about surf detergent. Text by Sh Bill Shannon. And there's the forward. The forward by, was by Eddie Einhorn, the president of the Chicago White Sox at the time. And there's a copyright in 1988. There's the team leaders for all of the Chicago White Sox. We'll go over that page one time, uh, some other day. But for right now, we're going to get into 1952. So I'm guessing that the season was 1952. And that is the cards that are represented here. Or it might be vice versa. It might be 1951, and the team, uh, this is the 1952 set. I, I don't know which, which one came uh, which way <laughs> right now. Uh, I didn't study that far into it. But anyway, what I do know is that this, this one, this set here, had a lot of the players um, that were on the team. The one that was missing was second baseman Nellie Fox that I know right off the top of my head. I was like, wait, Nellie, no, uh, they say Nelson Fox in the book, but uh, it, Nellie Fox wasn't in this one. Um, we had uh, Paul Richards, which was the manager of the team, and we had um, ooh, 21 other cards with it. Uh, of the 21 cards, we have uh, Minnie Maynoso right there. Another notable player was Eddie Robinson, who led the team with 22 home runs. But let's just look at, let me just scroll by some of the, uh, the players so you can take a nice closer look. There's John Dobson, who was a 14-game winner for them. Bill Pierce. There you go. So in 1952, they were a winning ball club. I think they came in third place or fourth place at that time. Uh, so we move on to 1953. In 1953, check out those cards. Very nice cards there. That's pretty cool. And 1953, uh, from this set, probably the, you know, you have Joe Dobson, who was a 14-game winner at the time, but Billy Pierce definitely picked it up, and he's the main guy in this. Of course, you have Minnie Maynosa, who did a lot better, and Eddie Robinson is still with this team, but again, there's no Nellie Fox in here in this team set. Another, uh, Virgil Trucks was another one that... Um, did not make this uh, cut. I guess he had a thing with Bowman or something. Maybe. I don't know. But he wasn't part of this Chicago Cubs. This team set 
um, had uh, 12, 13, 14 cards in it. But in 1954, we flip to this page, and now in 1954, the cards that were presented for the team uh, were missing Minnie Maynoso and Nellie Fox. Um, let's see, who, who else was another name that wasn't in there anymore? I think Pierce wasn't in there either. Yeah, there's no Pierce, but the newcomer Ferris Fane was in there. Um, during that time, he was a newcomer to the team. Uh, so, so, out of these... Out of these guys here, I don't think there was really a star in 1954 set that really stood out. Harry, uh, no, not even Harry Dorish. I was getting, I was thinking of Dobson, but there you go. That's the 1954 set. What's pretty cool about this one was that it had, you know, uh, a photo of, and basically I I'm gonna call them an action shot or a pose shot along with the headshot which was pretty cool. It's just a shame that some of the main players weren't, weren't in this one. Um, then we get to 1955 and the set, yeah, was a only an eight card set and it did not feature any of the stars. No, there was no George Kell. There was no Minnie Minoso. There was no, um, uh, Nellie Fox. Or anything like that. Uh, they did have Dick Dick Donovan, who won 15 games for them. Uh, I think Virgil Truck still hasn't made a Chicago White top Chicago White Sox card in this, but there was only eight cards. Now I could be wrong, and I, I could be wrong. And oh yeah, there was no Walt Droppo either, who was the home run leader. But anyway, I could be wrong and say that this is not the full this this um this is, wasn't the complete team set for the Cub or for the White Sox, um, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Is that the tops? This was the only eight uh, players that were represented in tops 1955 for the White Sox. So we get to 1956, and it gets a little bit better, as um, you see here a lot of uh, good players are in there. There's Walt Droppo, Luis Aparicio. There's Nellie Fox making his first. I believe that's his first tops card. You have Larry Doby, who came from the Cleveland Indians at that time. Um, Dick Donovan, who was one of the strong pitchers. Um, you know, so, so basically, it's like 21 cards here. You have Billy Pierce's back with the team. Minnie Mae Noso's back with his card. So, and George Kell, I believe that's his first appearance into Tops. So, and then they have the team card, which was pretty cool. Let's see if I could get that to focus a little bit better. There you go. But it's pretty cool that they ended up going with a 21 card set um, for the 1956. So, then I guess in 1956, Tops was getting a lot of players back or had the rights to many of the players. In 1957, it grew tremendously. I believe there's like 30 cards in this one. Or No, sorry, not 30. Why did I say 30? I just messed myself up with that. Um, 20, uh, 25 cards with the team card on the back of this page here. But here you'll see you have... Louis Aspericio, um, Larry Doby, the, the Walt Droppo, like I said, Nelly Fox is in there. So all the star players were in this in this one set here. Minnie Maynoso, and so on. But what I did not see, I don't think there was a, a manager card in here. I did not see a man. I don't think I saw a manager card, but um, the manager card, the only 1952 was the only one that had one at that time or in the 1950s. There's a team card. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that for the Chicago White Sox. Then we get to 1958, and 1958 was uh, 
really colorful, <laughs> uh, bright, colorful um, set of cards. But the cool thing about that was in the Chicago team set, you had three all-stars. Um, you had Esparicio, you had um, Nellie Fox and Sherman L or Sherm Lawler and for the all-stars on that team set. Billy Fisher was a different color. I don't know why it was a different color. Um, some of these cards, I believe, are the high number series as well as the um, standard series. But we get into... a. Um, there's 20 cards on here, and then 28, uh, 31 cards. So definitely have a lot of players on here. There's Bubba Phillips in the blue. And then you have the rest of the um, Chicago White Sox there. Um, the team cards on there. I'm just taking a quick look to see if I see a manager. No, I don't see a manager on this on these cards here. So again, the manager is missing. Not since 1952, um, you won't have one. In 1959, the final year for this uh, video here, uh, we have Louis Espiricio. We have his. What's cool is we have his All Star card. Um, the All Star card, the Sporting News All Star card, makes their um, appearance. You have a rookie star, a rookie stars that starts to pop out where they focus on the rookies. Um, you have, uh, the players like Dick Donovan, Louis Asparicio, and you get a big set over here. You got Nellie Fox and Nellie Fox's all-star card. You'll have Jim Landis. Um, there's Billy Pierce and his all-star card. Oh yeah. And the rookie, or sorry, that wasn't there. <laughs> Uh, Tom Quarters, Jim Rivers, John Romano, his rookie card, Don Raldolf. Um, keep on going down. Here you have Pierce and a storyline card, which I call it like what he did at the All-Star game as a starter. And then you had the pairings here. I'm sure they had pairings in other uh, cards back in the day, but uh, here I see the debut for the White Sox. Their first pair is Fox and Asparicio. Which that, I think that is a pretty cool card there. Nice combo. And then you have the team card, of course. So that's basically all it is from up to 1959 uh, with the Chicago White Sox cards. Um, I'll come back. Because the videos are going to be running pretty long because I'm just going to be talking. Um, since uh, some videos are going to be kind of long, I think what I'm going to do next for the next is going to be like the 60s and or the 60s, and then I'll do 70s and 80s after this one. So thank you for watching, guys. Until next time. Uh, or wait, until next time. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Peace out, collectors. I don't know. <laughs> Need an outro.